Hey, friends, I'm ready for a great workout today. Of course you are, that's why you're here. It's going to be a good one, and it's going to focus all on your core and the back side. So it's going to be all from a lying position. You could do this on your bed, but it's a lot more challenging if you're on a hard surface. All you're going to need is a resistance band. That would be very helpful in building strength through here because so much of us are weak in that middle part of our back. And this resistance band is gonna help with that. So go grab your resistance band and we will do a little bit of a warm up before we go to the floor. Ready? Let's start with some kick across because you're gonna be using your backside a lot and we need to stretch out through those glutes a little bit, get them woke up so that they can help your lower back. Because you're gonna be working all of that back and I can tell you're very excited right now. The reason I'm doing this, let's go to a heel tap just to make sure we can get some more lower back tension released if there is any. I've, we, there's a workout that's different plank variations and that focuses, it does work lower back, those planks, but it's also heavy focus on the in, uh, internal core stabilizers, as well as the rectus abdominis. So let's go quads just because it feels good. And I've also done a side plank that focuses on your obliques. So there's a workout for that. But there's not a workout that just specifically focuses that backside. Hamstring kickouts here because Hamstrings are part of that backside, and you're going to work those hamstrings today just a little bit. So that's why we're doing this workout specifically, because you don't want to overtrain your front side and not get your backside. You got to stay balanced, right? Good. Okay, now we're going to reach over because we, we do need some mobility through your arms this morning, your shoulders. We're going to be doing some big, big stuff through the, the middle back here, should feel good. Awesome, and we also need to do a punch across because we're gonna be getting some middle back and this is a good middle back stretcher. Okay, and we definitely need to get lower back stretch. So sweep in the floor, come up, little twist to the side, sweep. Other side, if you need to brace your hands on your knees because of your lower back, please do. Now I want you to be aware that if, if you have to brace your knees or your hands on your knees to support your lower back, then this workout may not feel good. I want you to try to do what you can. It is definitely gonna make your lower back tired. It's good to strengthen your lower back, but if you have a lot of pain, go see a chiropractor, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hi, a big advocate of finding a good chiropractor. Now, grabbing that resistance band, we're gonna do a movement from standing that we will also be doing on the floor. So it's just going to be front to back. So you're going to uh, front and then tap those heels or your glutes in the back. Now here, if you feel any stretch from a standing position, this is a big chest stretcher. You might feel the same stretch on the floor, but most likely it'll feel different because gravity forces those muscles to work differently when you're in a prone position. Okay, and just because we're here, let's do a quick stretch because that feels really good. Oh, yeah, okay. We aren't gonna be doing a lot of cardio today, so we don't need to do squats to extensions or anything like that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the floor. Each of these movements is going to be 30 seconds. Sound good? We're gonna start with swimmers, just to get that body used to, the back used to the movement. So all it's going to be your eyeballs looking at your mat, Lift your left arm and right leg as high as you can, and then switch right arm, left leg. Okay, 30 seconds. Ready, and here we go. 
alternating arm and opposite leg. Just please make sure you're trying to get that leg as high as you can, that knee off the floor. So you're lifting from your hip, not your knee, straight leg. And you're trying to at least get your bicep by your ear. Now this is the most gentle move of the workout. So if the other movements are too challenging, you can always just come back to this one and take a break. Okay. Now we're going to le let your upper body relax on the floor so you can just plant your, let your relax. And I'm going to move this here. What you're going to do is just lift your legs and we're gonna do an isometric leg off the floor hold. So getting your knees as high off the floor as you can. Okay, ready? And here we go, 30 seconds. You might feel your core working here too, like the front side, and that makes sense. <laughs> That's definitely part of it. Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. Okay, good. We're going to do a quick child's pose. We'll be doing a lot of child's pose this morning or this afternoon or whenever you're doing the workout. <laughs> we're going to do the same thing now, except we're gonna tap your heels, okay? So if this hurts, uh, the heel tap, meaning you're, you know, you're just lifting those legs and tapping. If that's too much on your lower back and you wanna do a little flutter, you can do that, or you can go back to the isometric hold and just hold it, okay? 30 seconds, and here we go. You can tap, you can flutter, you can do both, you can do an iso hold, but this is some, it works the lower back in a different way, it engages those glutes, and it also works some hamstring. And here's five, four, three, two, and done. Good job. All right, the next one is going to be taking those hands down by your hips, palms face the ceiling, lifting your upper body off the floor, and then um, pushing your palms to the ceiling while you squeeze your shoulder blades together, okay? Legs stay planted on the floor. Ready? Here we go, 30 seconds. So you're going to feel some good um, triceps for sure, but I want you to focus on pulling your shoulders down and back away from your ears while you squeeze your shoulder blades into your spine. And this is a lot, really good work for that middle part of your back. You're almost done. Here's eight, seven, good job, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Great. Child's pose. Okay, good. That child's pose felt really good. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. All right, next one is going to be extending those arms up overhead. We're going to snow angel our hands. So we're going to start with the palms. So you're going to lift your legs on this one and your arms. So your biceps are by your ears. Palms face the floor. Then you're going to snow angel down, and your palms will then face the ceiling. So Palms face the floor when you're overhead, and then snow angel, and then palms face the ceiling when your hands are by your hips. Keeping those knees off the floor the whole time. 30 seconds, ready? And here we go. So I'll let you go at your own speed. If you want to do fast snow angels, you can, but the more slow and controlled you go, the more the muscle has to work. So Trying to keep those knees as high off the floor as you can and your eyeballs looking at your mat. So we're not looking at the wall in front of you. We're looking straight down. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, and done. Good. Now we're gonna grab that 
band. I'm going to take the palms overhead, palms down, and you're going to, here, I'll show you on the camera. All right, so your thumbs, you're going to grip your band, and your thumbs should touch. That's how close I want those hands, and this is going to work more in the middle part of your back, okay? So thumbs hold, touching each other, but we're going to be on the floor. You're going to lift. Now, if your lower back is getting tired and you don't want to lift your legs off the floor, that's completely fine. Um, but if you can, please do, because all you're, we're going to do an isometric hold, lifting our legs and arms. Okay? 30 seconds. Ready? And go. So getting those biceps by your ears, eyes looking at your mat, knees off the floor. And I want you to really try to lift those arms as high as you can. You're doing great. You should feel this down like more closer to your spine muscles. And here's six, five, four, three, two, and done. Great job. Child's pose. Okay, next is, you're going to use that band again. Your arms are going to be wider now, so just to the outside. So you do what is what you can do on this one in terms of range of motion, because you're going to go from overhead, the band goes overhead, and then band touches your glutes, and then you come back overhead. It would be ideal if you could lift your legs off the floor for this one. But again, if you're starting to get tired in that lower back, range of motion for the upper body is also just as important. So leave those feet planted if you need to. 30 seconds, and here we go. So overhead to glutes. Overhead to glutes. Keeping your eyes looking at your mat. Good. And you're almost done. Almost, almost. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. Great job. You need child's pose? You doing okay? I'm going to get one just in case. A little quick little one here. Okay, we're almost done. We only have three left. So if, the, if it's easier to use the band, for uh, keeping your, helping you get your arms higher, you can definitely use it. We're going to do a lift and lower Superman. So this is double arm, double leg lift. You're just going up and down and up and down. You don't have to use the band. You can just go arms only. It's really up to you. But I do want you to try to lift your arms and your legs, okay? 30 seconds, ready? And here we go, lift. And lower, trying to get those knees off the floor, biceps and shoulders at least by your ears or higher. Good job. Nice and slow here. We're not doing crazy speedy ones. Just con nice and controlled. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. Okay, child's pose again. Two more. Now that same movement, we're just going to do an isometric hold. So we're going to take it up and hold for 30 seconds, okay? Ready? And here we go. Just a hold. You can use that band if you want. Trying to get the, you know, think about touching the, your thumbs together. Knees as high off the floor as you can. Doing great. We're almost done. And there's 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Great. Child's pose. Lots of these today, huh?
Okay, we have one left. I call these the fish. <laughs> and it gets a little bit of oblique, external oblique. But you're going to rock side to side. So in that Superman position, you're going to rock onto one hip, then the other hip. And that's it, 30 seconds. Ready to try? Good job making it this far. Ready, ready? All right, here we go. Side to side. Try to keep those knees as high off the floor as you can. If this is too much, just go to that isometric hold again. Or if your lower back's tired, you can go back to swimmers. This works into those obliques. Almost done. Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. Great job. Child's pose again. Okay, what I want you to do is just to make sure, walk your hands to the left, anchor your right wrist with your left hand, and shift your weight to the right. If you drop your shoulder, you'll get a nice little stretch through some muscles we worked in that back. And if you lift your, sh your right shoulder, you'll get some more <laughs> uh, muscles that we worked on that right side. Okay, now we're gonna go the other direction. So walk your hands to the left, anchor your left wrist with your right hand, shift your weight to the left, drop your left shoulder. Now raise that left shoulder. Good. We're gonna do one more for your lower back. We're gonna go cat-cow. So really push those Shoulders to the ceiling, trying to pull those shoulder blades apart. And now, cow looking up at the ceiling, letting that lower back fall to the floor. Round one more time. And now we're going to push those shoulder blades to the ceiling. Now, cow one more time. If you want to shift your hips left to right and get a little oblique stretch, you can. And maybe that feels good. We're going to do a seated lower back stretch. So what you're gonna do is a butterfly position with your feet, but then you're going to push those feet forward and lean forward. And if there's any tightness through your lower back, you'll feel that. It could also be some glute too, because we, we did work some glute. It wasn't a very long workout, but it was a very effective workout. <laughs> right? Oh boy. We love effective. All right, my friends. Good job showing up today and doing a workout. If you want to go back and do all of those a second time, you can, or you can work up to it. Whatever is, whatever your body can handle. If you need to do 15 seconds instead of 30 and half the time, you can do that too. But good job showing up today. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you at the next workout.